shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is, before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the Lord said to him, and the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, fast, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So Elijah is told to go to the brook Cherith. Come on. He will be fed by the ravens here. Yeah. We all should know that a raven is an ugly looking bird. Amen. I, if some of us don't know, I've got a picture here. If I can get it out from under my Bible. This is what a raven looks like. Amen. Don't look too good, does he? something different than a raven. Amen. But God chose the raven. Yeah. Go with me now to the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 1. Right beside of Genesis. Amen. Chapter 3, verse 1. Amen. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert, and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire, out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see the great sight why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here, here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father and the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Amen. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Come on. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. That sounds a little sticky, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Both milk and honey. Unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. That's a lot of ites. Amen. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. 
the Egyptians were making them moan. They were whipping the Israelites yeah. and making them cry out to God for deliverance. And they got their deliverance through Moses. Amen. Moses gave some excuses here, and I'll and we'll be reading those excuses here in a minute. I believe we are. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, a sign unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Amen. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath, hath sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. Amen. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover unto Moses, This shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers, and the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you out of the affliction, the misery of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto, the, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come, thou and the elders of Israel, unto the king of Egypt, and ye shall say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath met with us. And now let us go, we beseech thee, three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go, no, not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders. He's talking about the ten plagues here. Amen. With all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof, and after that he will let you go. Amen. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Amen. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her, and of her that sojourneth in her house jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And he... And ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil the Egyptians. Amen. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. That, I believe, is one of his excuses. Amen. I can't be so sure of that yet. And the Lord said to him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it 
on the ground and it cast it on the ground and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. Amen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, hath appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Amen. And he said, Put thy, thine hand into that bosom again, and he put his hand into his bosom again, and plucked it out of his bosom, and behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it came to pass if they, and it shall come to pass that if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. Amen. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it upon the dry land, and the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood like the dry land. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not a lack Eloquent, eloquent. Neither heretofore thou, since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, that I am now slow of speech and of a slow tongue. Another excuse. Amen. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord. He's telling Moses, if I can make, if I can make people see or not see, talk or not talk, I think that I can make this happen. Amen. He should be able to make this happen. Now therefore, go and I will be with thy mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O oh my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of whom, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well, and also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee, and when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. So, that's where we're going to stop here. Um, anyway, he's, he's going to send Moses with his brother Aaron. And if any, and if the serpent turned, and if the staff turned it into a serpent, Ain't gonna work. He's gonna have these ten plagues happen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap tonight.